We've, uh, we've never been to Berlin, but this is the first time for us. Um, we want to see Berlin for two years. Okay. We pray in God. God, I want to see Berlin. I want to see Berlin. It's and God nice. gave us. Yes, I go on the street and I hear English and I hear Italian and I hear French and I don't hear German as much. So it has that international appeal and like a sort of like a cooking, something, new ideas. I think it's a very vibrant city. It doesn't seem old at all. And it's, it's relaxed, it's open. It's cheap. Okay. <laughs> uh, I know a lot of artists that live here and um, and they have space to and time to realize their projects and uh, it has a reputation for being a pretty uh, artistic city and so far it's kind of fulfilled that I, I like that this festival is happening in a city in a in a town and it is big and also at the same time small and so it's just right and then i also like to see all these People with the uh, you know red Berlin Isle bags, I see them in Alexander Flats, and it's like millions of them. And this is the first time when a man, a strange man, you know, yeah. a, a man from the from subway, from, yeah. subway yeah. from the road, he came to us and told us uh, that our yeah our mobile was good, and we started the discussion in the subway. And it's wonderful. I mean, I think it's wonderful to have people enjoying cinema because that's the really the aim of cinema uh, and he he told us that he bought a, a ticket to our to our uh, movie yeah and it, it was a great feeling mm -hmm. how do you judge an audience's reaction i i've i've played music a few times on stage before and um and uh, the experience of looking out onto an audience is the last thing you want to see because even if people are really enjoying it, they will stand and stare at you stony-faced without a smile. And um, so, yeah, I think I think um, I think uh, in terms of audience reaction, you really just have to you really have to trust your audience. And um, you know, I think films should be challenging. Not all films should be entertaining. Films should make. I don't know, an audience feel uncomfortable or whatever. But I've heard that there, some of the audience members can be quite um, outspoken. There was a, like a, something that happened the other night where there was somebody shouting at, uh, it was for the Puccini thing. I was yesterday at a movie and the audience just asked stupid questions. Shouting at the director. And as director, are, you are, you are uh, used to, to stay in back of the, of the camera and back of tension and and just uh, love to, to play with people, not to be played by people. Try to avoid all the kind of the cliches and giving the audience too much information, mm -hmm. but giving the audience enough information so they understand the narrative. And I really appreciate when the film has really something uh, uh, important to say, mm -hmm. but not a message, uh, a very big message like uh, terrorism or uh, racism. I'm more into small things, but uh, small things from, from life. I think short films are more personal. Okay. So uh, they're, they're, maybe they're not <laughs> thinking about the audience or um, trying to sell it or for what. They're, they're, they're just making it to express something. Is that why I deal with which to use two languages? So I think that there are two different typical cinematic languages. Один это мировой кинезик. One is a world. World language of cinema, mm -hmm. uh, на котором говорят uh, некоторые uh, художники и, и в основном Голливуд. Normally, Hollywood artists are speaking this world language. Okay. Uh, а другой язык And это язык внутренних кинематографий. Inner language of cinematography. Mm -hmm. Разных стран. Of different countries. Очень закрытый. Very close. And there are some jokes. Jokes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can be trans mm -hmm. yeah, translated. Yeah. You cannot uh, interpret it. In okay. Yeah. In English, it loses its charm. Вот тут мировой зритель и те мировые художники, которые представляют кино, которые передвигают, которые интересуются чужими культурами. September I go to Lebanon and these people invite me so it makes that really the movie is is 
talking to a lot of people very different culture. I don't know, I mean, they, just, they just had such different experiences to me. I mean, to meet, to meet the director from Cuba, it's her second time out of her country. Um, to hear about her experiences in London, where I'm from, it's really, it's really fascinating. I think it's good to, to meet people with uh, the same, the same, the same interest, and uh, I don't know if I, I should tell you, but the film, the Brick Brock film, was made after the Talent Campus at the Berlinale of last year. So, the I think a couple of ideas, good ideas for the films, uh, were ac acquired here. But, um, it's so. Big and there's so many uh, movies to choose from. Um, I, you're kind of always looking around to see where to go next. Yeah, yeah. There's so many, so many options. So you're, it seems like everybody's constantly on the on the move. But it's good just to to meet other filmmakers and to talk with them and see their films and just to know that you're not alone. You see uh, people from around the world doing things that you like or that uh, are sort of inspiring or you know things like that. Yeah. I, I think uh, Berlinale is, uh, has a very strange uh, selection, mm -hmm. very st uh, strange uh, uh, showcase of films. Mm -hmm. uh, not only in shorts, also in competition, uh, also in panorama. Yeah, but I mean, that's, that's good. Yeah. It's like, uh, you know, uh, everybody, like people, like people are different. Although, although, you know, like competition itself is a weird concept because yeah, it's like how you can say oh you know this is better and this is worse you know how you can how you can select the most beautiful woman of the universe because they're all beautiful in a different way yeah. you know if it's a strong film it doesn't matter if it's animation documentary or fiction yeah. um, it'll stand out if it's crafted if it's got something to say or if it's funny whatever I mean uh, you, you sort of think that you know so much about films or that you and then you see stuff brand new stuff it's just yeah. incredible I've been very very impressed with the shorts just with the variety of work I guess also with shorts that they're, they're new directors so when you hear about like the bigger competition you know some of them and you kind of have an yeah, idea yeah. what to expect but it's just people coming out of uh, thin air and just seeing just incredible, incredible I work. like when people walk in blindly to a theater I do that a lot I don't yeah, sometimes yeah. read movie reviews or especially here there's so many films I have no idea what they're about and sometimes I'll just yeah. step in I mean, there are many other festivals in the world if you just want to compete only with documentaries in a documentary section or animation. In a, I mean, the Berlinale, I think, is very coherent with the festival to mix that in a selection because it has to do with this melange of the festival <laughs> itself. That's why maybe Berlinale doesn't reach the level of Cannes. Yeah. This is more the social political uh, place, uh, a social political place for films. I've been to Cannes yeah. in 2004 and uh, I found it a very difficult festival to get into. I found it very, very commercial. Everywhere I went, there was this guy with flyers going, Irish comedy, Irish comedy. And posters up everywhere and they're being torn down by other filmmakers to put their poster <laughs> up. And people are flyering with their postcards. And I think Berlinale is different than other film festivals but the difference is great. Going from the States, there's certain aesthetics, there's certain touches, you know, the. Yeah that you just don't see or you'll see maybe one or two at a festival but here this just seems much more like um, the stuff I like. This is an other feeling, some other feeling, a different feeling. It's this city, it's the atmosphere, it's the people here. Uh, the teenagers. The teenagers, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's not so official. Okay. You know, you have uh, the pro projection tonight, uh, it's your movie tonight. You don't have to, it will be a red carpet, but you don't have to be dressed like, uh, you know, smoking. They have a spirit, like spirit, independent spirit behind. <laughs> so it's not like they're like this, trying to pretend that they're Hollywood films. They are just saying, well, this is who I am, this is my story, uh, very honest and very true, you know, without any games. And so, and that's what, um, um, that's what impressed me. 